So it seems like Apple is throwing a refresh out for us of the 2011 iMac. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jacob from the latest tech and in this video I'm going to bring you through the updates to the 2011 iMac refresh that Apple released today to the public. Starting off with the prices, we actually didn't see any changes. Some people were expecting a price drop of up to $100, but unfortunately we did not see that. What we did see with all the models was a bump up to the Thunderbolt ports. We saw it on the MacBook Pros that were released a couple months ago and it allows for very fast file transfer and for external monitors. Now the big surprise here was that they gave us two Thunderbolt ports. So now you can have two monitors running off of your iMac. As far as graphic cards go, we saw a bump up for all of the models. The lower end 21.5 inch, we saw a bump up to the AMD Radon HD 6750M with 525 megabytes. For the higher end 21.5 inch, we saw a bump up to the AMD Radon HD 6770M with 512 megabytes. For the lower end 27 inch, we saw a bump up to the AMD Radon HD 6770M with 512 megabytes. And finally, for the high end 27 inch iMac, we saw a bump up to the AMD Radon HD 6970M with 1 gigabyte. For processors, all of the models will be bumped up to a quad core Core i5 with gigahertz power ranging from 2.5 to 3.1. You can upgrade three out of the four models to Core i7s for $200 more. The hot drive space will be staying the same for all products. You have the ability to choose for the three higher end models up to two gigabytes of storage as well as 256 megabytes of SSD. As far as the next refresh goes, we will probably be seeing a refresh in the next year or so, but don't expect anything else in 2011. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to comment below with your opinion, please comment below. Please subscribe up there. If you like my style of videos, please like down there, and I'll catch you guys next time.